Hello and welcome to Jennifer and Erica's data number five meeting, results of implementation and action plan. In our meeting and planning for data meeting number four, we communicated and held discussions via conference call and also using Google Doc chat. We discussed communication centered around our implementation and action plan data and results. We discussed also how the goals were met and our needed additional reflection. We also discussed how we could meet our target goals going forward. Some of the strengths and weaknesses that we recognized are as follows. The strengths, team members contributed towards completing data meeting number five assignment. Team members had a clear understanding of what was required for data meeting number five and therefore were prepared to actively engage in meaningful discussions. The team also engaged in meaningful discussions to meet our requirements and goals. The weaknesses were as follows. While our team is more unconventional in our teaching methods, as Jennifer is a driver's ed education instructor and Erica is a substitute teacher, we also have a lot going on outside of class that hinders our ability to connect at times. This next section highlights subject and context. The data used by team three for data meeting number five is from a seventh grade lesson on a poem, Fire and Ice by Robert Frost, as well as an additional three poems throughout the year. And now for Jennifer and Erica's data results. Original tracking, action plan, tracking sheets, and data results for the four quarters implementing three additional poems are as follows. Goal number one of the action plan tracking sheet um, used multiple reading strategies that allow students enough time to acquire new vocabulary. This should be done with 80% accuracy. Um, the goal one shows vocabulary development to allow for a foundation, which was the instructional tactic. The tactic, tactic method can also be observed on this chart, as well as the acting party, frequency, estimated completion date, as well as the verifying artifacts, which was also implemented in goal two, which measured the student's knowledge of the vocabulary presented in goal number one. Goal number two is, students will be able to use vocabulary words in six squares to define use of synonyms, antonyms, illustrations, and to use in um, sentences correctly. This should result in 90% accuracy. And as I just mentioned a few minutes ago, um, this chart displays the instructional tactic of goal number two, the tactic method, acting party frequency, estimated completion date, and the verifying artifacts, which, which can be found on the student's own squares from their worksheets. Goal number three, Teacher will apply instructional scaffolding for the lesson by modeling each stage of the lesson to enable students to work to identify what prior knowledge the students have with attempting to portray the author's point of view. The goal is that students will complete the assignment with at least 80% accuracy. And this chart, this chart follows the same plan as goal number one and goal number two. Um, instructional tactic, tactic method, acting party, frequency, estimated completion date, as well as the verifying artifacts, which can be found when um, in the student's answers from the worksheets from the end of lesson, formative assessment on identifying the author's point of view. Goal number four, students will identify the author's point of view allowing, allowing for individual creativity. This is more of an open-ended accuracy type Although meaningful interpretation should result in 90% accuracy. This chart flows just like the first three charts that I mentioned for the first three goals. This chart is the class grade book. Um, and the standard is that vocabulary knowledge as well as the author's interpretation is assessed on this chart. You can see the results. You can notice the target goals and results um, from target goals one and two, which combined were 85% and the assessment results were 86%. Um, target goal three was 80% and the assessment results were 83%. Target goal four was 90% and the assessment results were 86%. I hope you have enjoyed our presentation.